Good morning, everybody. So, a week ago today, I failed my electrical inspection. Uh, nothing major, but uh, this electrical enclosure was one of the one of the reasons I, I failed. Uh, on the ground mount itself, uh, this system uses. Um, this clipping method I'll show you these clips to ground the panels it links all the panels together and then once they're all linked together you just have to have a single uh, grounding point and this goes back into the electrical uh, distribution panel so that comes in here, gets bonded to the ground bar. Ground bar uh, is also connected all the way back into the main distribution panel. So <clears throat> the reason uh, the inspector wanted to see the UL certifications for the solar system bonding. And I had the instructions and it says it's UL listed but I didn't have the certificates. So I had to contact the company and get the certificates so that when they come back, I can show them that the bonding system is UL listed. Uh, this distribution panel. So I, I bought it on Amazon, Viver, and when I was looking, I specifically searched for UL listed, you know, enclosures. And this one came up and I ordered it. Well, I guess in all of my back and forth on Amazon, I, I actually ordered this box. And it is, in all aspects, almost identical to this one. The difference, it's CE certified. There's no UL sticker. This one has a UL sticker. So <clears throat> this enclosure, the inspector wouldn't accept it. It had to be replaced. So I went to Amazon ordered another one, got the right one, the one that's UL listed. The only differences I see, the actual structure of the box is the same. Uh, the door is the same. Um, the mounting holes are slightly different. Uh, the location of these is off by like four millimeters. Just enough so I had to <laughs> to move my unistrut down in order to get the holes to line up. Uh, the other thing, the door opens the opposite direction, so the hinges are on the other side. But as you can see, this one, the door could have been mounted on this side. It's, it's reversible. This one is the same way. If you see, it has the plugs here these are the holes for the for the door so you could reverse it you could move the door uh, the other thing that they did different is the mounting for this plate in here here and up there is slightly off for four or five millimeters so my old panel I couldn't just unbolt it and drop it into the new box. I actually had to attach the DIN rail and attach the ground bar and uh, put this all back together. Uh, other differences, this bottom plate is slightly longer than the one in this box. So it, it looks what Viver has done is, is they got a box that was UL certified 
And in order to, you know, maintain that certification, they made the non-UL listed box dimensions on, on bits and pieces slightly different so that they can't get mixed up at the factory. So anyway, a new box, uh, I had to <laughs> gut the old one, put everything into this one, and I did it at night time so that I didn't have to worry about power from the solar panels. I didn't want to have to try to disconnect cables. We're below freezing. I, I didn't want to take a chance on snapping off a little clip or something. Uh, but yeah, so now I am, I have a UL listed box and this little rain cover come with this one, this thing, and it, it's not permanently attached to the box. It's a separate piece that you set on top and then the bolts that go through the back that come through here, uh, there you go, come through there actually hold this in place so you could put it on or you could leave it off uh, I figured I paid for it I'll put it on so that's uh, what was the other difference this has a plastic cap over the the key that's really the the differences so now that I have this little sticker I will be good to go for the electrical enclosure. So the electrical enclosure, the certs for the bonding, and uh, I'll take you and I'll show you the, the other thing that I forgot. And this was just a, an oversight on my part. I knew I was supposed to do it and didn't. So hang on. So in here at the inverter was the other finding and one of my viewers pointed it out you know from uh, you know watching one of my other videos at that at the point he made the comment I had already uh, failed the inspection this was one of the write-ups and I've I had already corrected it but uh, in the installation of this uh, inverter I left out these uh, plastic bushings they come in the kit, uh, they're really simple, they just snap right in, and I knew they were supposed to be there and forgot to put them in. So that was one of the write-ups, one of the items that I had to correct in order to pass the inspection. Um, they're not split, so, you know, I didn't want to mess with trying to find a split bushing that would fit into the holes so I just disconnected everything put the bushings in and reconnected everything uh, in order to get that part finished so between uh, having the certs for the solar panel bonding the the UL certifications and having a UL listed enclosure that I'm using out there at the solar panel for the DC and having these plastic bushings that were that was my uh, write-ups out of this whole project uh, it's all fixed and I you know I have copies of the certs so I've called for reinspection they're supposed to come out Monday uh, this is Friday so here in a couple of days, I should have that done. And once that's done, I move on to getting uh, my Duke Energy interconnect agreement uh, completed. So that's where I'm at. Thanks for watching.